Hey there guys, my name is Nyx and welcome to my Let's Play of Amori. Oh boy, I think this game's been making the rounds on the internet, hasn't it? Or if it's not, I feel like it may be about to. I have seen very little of this game. All I know is that A, it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. And B, um, I'm basically checking this out because one of the review YouTubers who does reviews highly recommended this game. And I was like, you know what? For once, I'm going to listen to you and not read, listen to the spoilers and just play the goddamn thing myself. So here I am playing Amori. Now, as I just quickly flick through my options, uh, I think everything's set up as I want them to. Yeah, it's also detected I have a play PS4 controller, so that's all well and good. Uh, I'll adjust these later. But yeah, um, if you didn't see the content warning thing, I'm pretty sure I've read it out at this point. Uh, we're in for a heavy time. Apparently that's just a channel standard now. Anyway. Let's uh, not waste any time, shall we? Let's see what this is about. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. Okay. No matter what happens. Promise me that we'll be there for each other. Promise me. I wondered what that noise was to start with. It was a... Uh, I'm assuming a projector running? By the sounds of it? Welcome to white space. Oh, okay. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. What, just lying on the floor? Give me a moment, I need to briefly turn this down in my own ears because it's surprisingly loud. Well, uh, I, 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 oh, okay, I'm going. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I have to check the cat. That's just a given. M Miwo? Is that, is that, I was about to say he, I almost assumed the cat. Is that its name? Yeah. Waiting, waiting for something to happen? I did not expect my cat to talk to me today. I mean, kind of, what, we got Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. T a bit too real, okay. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Sure. That's not ominous, okay. Okay. So we got what I'm assuming looks like a creepy severed head. Some kind of like Aztec symbol. What looks to be some sort of code on the left? Is that windings? Is that what that is? And then we've got like a a cat cult prey while like the other one cries blood and the others. Ah, I don't even know how to interpret this one. Okay, the one on the left is like three friends drowning in separate rivers with a giant snake in the background. And um the other one's uh it looked like a cat. And then someone scribbled over it. Got a cake and some... Some horrific blood incident on a slide. And then a mm, pile of hands at the bottom. The one on the left, incredibly disturbing. And then just... Uh, okay. I wonder if these change. Okay. Well, uh, do you say anything more, Mr. Cat? Apparently not. Can I? 
Oh, I can leave the... I wish I'd not left the void. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Gen genuine panic from me, I'm sorry. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Interesting. Is are the are the hat the hands here to like stop me from venturing outside of the the realm? I I assume that to stop me from venturing too far out of my white room. Well, I haven't looked at the laptop yet. Booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen or open your journal? You stared at the screen. I'm gonna keep doing this, something's gonna happen. Unless this is just a crushing metaphor for, yeah, this is me. Me on a day to day. What have we got in the journal? Um, I mean, oh, at least these are all of them. Today I spent a time in white space, everything was okay. Today I spent time in white space. Today I visited friends, everything was okay. And I'm pretty sure, at a quick glance, those are all, those are basically all the things say. Either I spent time in the white room or I visited friends. Also, I'm assuming that if I'm reading these in columns, and columns is chronologically, uh, I spent a lot more time in the white room to start with. Well, I, uh... The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Something fell nearby. I was about to ask what the hell was that. Uh... Hands? I don't like these implications at all. You've got a shiny knife. Do I have like a... Oh. Uh... Do... Okay, I have my shiny knife. As my weapon. And I don't have anything else. Nothing in my pockets. What do I... Do I have skills? I have a sad poem which inflicts sad on a friend or a foe. And guard. Okay. Um, I assume these are the same as they were in the- yeah, these are the same as the menu. Uh, I don't know what this is. I love that sound effect though. I guess... you just go through the door? A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Got nothing else to do. I was gonna say, was it gonna auto walk for me or? Oh, thank God, color. <laughs> Starting to panic. Aw, you're adorable! Aubrey. Do, do, do I voice act? Is, is that a thing I'm committed to at this point? I mean, I do it for my visual novels, why the hell not? Hi, Amori! We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh. Whoops. Never mind. Aw, oh, man! What the heck, Aubrey? messed up all the cards. I was winning, too. Hey there, Kel. No need to get angry. It's just a game, after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only said that because you were losing. Oh, okay. I was like, am I, am I back? Am I off? Okay, what we got? There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I feel like that's a reference I'm not getting, and it bothers me, because I feel like Earthbound made a similar reference. A tentacle's poking out of the ground. Yeah, I probably should have looked at that first. Why the hell's there a... Oh, it makes a squishy noise. 
Can't examine it, it just makes a squishy noise. Can't examine... Oh, I got a stuffed toy from breaking open the watermelon. A single bean on a plate. Can't lie to me, that's a pixel. Uh, yeah, sorry. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other, the other, you know, the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Uh, I'm one step ahead of you, Aubrey. Really, please? Yeah, I, I, I got it. Don't worry. Is that? Could it be? Aw. Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. I think I did a good. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! What the heck? Where did you get that? Amari found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But, but Aubrey started it. She was the one making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... what? <laughs> Aubrey? Fine. <laughs> oh, what a group of friends I have. Hey, Amori. I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. I'm gonna pronounce that Basil, and I don't care if anyone tells me it's Basil. <laughs> it's Basil. <laughs> Do you wanna go see them? I mean, will we auto go, or can I still look around the room? All right, everyone, let's go see Mari and Basil. Oh no, we just formed a conga line. <laughs> Do you want to play cards with your friends? Uh, sure. I was gonna say, is something gonna happen? Or do I have to like, press, press buttons? No, I think that's just a cute thing. A photo of someone familiar. I know what this implies, and I don't like it. Tree, what are you doing in this room? <laughs> you a toaster? You are. Would you like to make toast? Hell yes. You made toast. Oh, I, I can't use it for anything. A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. A neatly wrapped present. Half of these things, I can only look at it, it would appear. I wanted to look at the blender. Uh, is that five or ten past six? It's hard to tell. Well, I... Tss. Going out, Omori? Tss. Here's your allowance for today. You got 50 clams. I wonder if that's weirdly symbolic. Probably. Oh, I know I said about something about Earthbound, but uh, I didn't expect the Earthbound trees to be here. Oh yeah, fresh air at last! Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. We appear to be missing someone. Hey, wait a sec. I was gonna say, I thought we were missing someone. Help me up guys, I'm stuck. Only if you say please! Kel... Oh, wrong one. Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here! Okay, okay. Fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Man, we have such a good circle of friends. Why the hell does the tree stump glow? Doesn't matter. I'm assuming this is the correct way. I was gonna say, wh where am where am I on this picture? Huh? 
Oh, are, th are these my friends? Marie! Basil! I'm gonna go- I'm gonna alternate between Mari and Basil, but it's probably Marie. I, I wanted to have a look around the park, because I'm sure like half of these things are in my notebook. Oh, hello Aubrey. Hello everyone. How are y'all doing today? Cal's being mean to me again. Oh no. Oh no, not again. How could he? Psst, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being whiny. Well, Kel, you've just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, Hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Marie. Not now. Oh, Hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. <laughs> He's not impressed, and neither would I be, to be fair. Well, while we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through this photo album. Did you want to join us? After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Come on, Basil, take a picture of me! Are you a boy or a girl? I hate to be that guy, but it's kind of hard. I'm gonna assume your name from name alone, it's a boy? I know that's a horrific thing for me to say and I apologize, but I'm just gonna go with that for now and feel free to yell at me down below. <laughs> Sorry, Kel, I only take pictures of photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? A oh, fucking wrong voice, that was Hero. Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like... We just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us the photo album now, Basil? Ah, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. All of these characters are precious. Here. This way we can all see. Let's see what we got then, shall we? So we got... Uh, oh, I can read. Thank God. Marie's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Marie's example. So this is me and Kel. I'm sure I'll learn eventually, but it might take me some time, and I apologize for that. Uh, what have we got? Ah, these are adorable. <laughs> if I now the warning at the start of the game got me all nervous. Amori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Oh, this is Basil reading, I take it. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Nah, it'd be fine. Watermelon and milk? Strange concoction, but who am I to judge? Kel is drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too cold, so he might get my camera wet. Why am I the only one in grayscale? Uh, no squares to read. Marie and Hero, uh, Marie had Hero take a picture of us. 
Everyone thinks the flower crown really suits me. I noticed because she was still wearing it in your profile thing. A little profile picture. <gasps> Hero leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Okay, so Hero is Kel's, I'm assuming, older brother. Man, it's real easy to pick a Mori out in the picture, isn't it? Also, what is that on one of the girls' lap? I'm sorry, I don't know which one's which by dress code. And everyone has very similar haircuts. We're having a picnic today. Marie wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Oh, is this today's picture? Ah, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> After eating, everyone fell asleep except Hero and Marie. I'm ki getting kind of sleepy myself. Cal took a picture of himself on accident, but I didn't believe him. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? I hate to be that asshole, but I can tell who Omori is, and that's about it. Is, is that... Okay, that's the, um... Appears to be the end of the album. There, there was an empty spot I could have clicked on, but I don't know if I pressed circle too quickly. Or whether that was, like, scheduled, uh, scripted to happen. These photos are also charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Marie likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come out, come and hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and I wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. It's the south of the playground, right? Yup, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You will go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic blanket. Aw, oh, thanks, Marie. You're always doing so much for us. We'll see you again soon. I'm assuming that's what the sweets are. Run along and have fun, though. You know where to find me. Oh, and now we're all in a line. And I can explore the park. Cool. Ah, yes. Some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? <laughs> you and your friends feel like new. That sound effect was amazing! Do, do you save or... Does this save? Ah, okay. Uh, sure. Forest playground. Okay, so... Looks like we can just chat and talk to other people. Yeah, because I'm sure, like, some of... I know at least, like, the slide and stuff that was in my notebook, so... I wonder if it's linked. What does the sign say? No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Okay. Can't sit on there. Can I talk to you? I'm going to swing in the moon. You know what it's like, these RPGs. You've got to talk to everyone at least more than once. I like puzzles. Is that, is that all? A very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. I mean... You know what? He seems to be doing fine. How are you today? Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. I'm assuming this is Nose. Nose looks occupied. Going up and down the slide, I see. Hey, Amori, guess what? I got plans today. Big plans! Just stay, stay put for a while. We'll see what I mean soon enough. <laughs> Burly talks so fast when she's excited. Oh, sorry, that's a girl. My apologies. I, I will amend the voice. Gets really hard to keep up. So I just gotta stay put, apparently. Hey, wait just one second. Where do you think y'all are going? You can't 
can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay put, stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You wanna play hide and seek again? But, you know how this turned out last time. Yeah, sorry Polly. I think we're going to have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now, so we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys are trying to avoid me again? <laughs> Just realized when she was saying y'all and not finishing her letters, I have a voice for this. This is just Suzua. What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? Oh, this is definitely Suzua. At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron's up to now. Eh. Good riddance! So... You wanna play hide and seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you wanna do? I think that's more fitting voice for Basil. Amori! Amor I've forgotten the voice. Suzua! Okay, that's the one. Amori! Amori! My best friend! Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? I mean, I guess? Heh, <laughs> that's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. We appear to have been roped into this game. Ten, hop! Alright, maggots, here are the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. <laughs> this is full Meon slash Suzua, and I love it. Here are my hands, I got some straws, see? Everyone's gotta pick a straw. Oh, well, the shortest straw's gotta be it, and we'll have to find everybody else. Sounds easy enough, right? We all got our straws? Good. Now let's see who's gonna be it. It's gotta be me, surely. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is Amori. Oh, oh wait, Amori is it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Are you gonna be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there! The straws make the rules, not me! Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking or else! Well, I guess I'm committed to this, aren't I? Five, four, three, two, one, and let's -a go. Well, whoa, you found me! Now I can help you find ever. Oh, just don't tell Burly about this, okay? <laughs> Man, you're a surprisingly good kid, Kel. Nose goes. Shh! If you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes. Bun goes. Uh, be quiet, knows we're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose! Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. I mean, turns out there's not many places to, here to hide for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Burley is happy, I'm happy. Damn, this music. Darn, you found me. Guess that means I lose. You know what? You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Well, um... Gonna skip and ro oh, it's a yo-yo. I for some reason thought it was a skipping rope. Um, well, we got the tall guy over here, Charlene. 
well, uh, are you guarding the entryway or? You probably shouldn't disturb this. Oh, well, okay. A suspicious blue mailbox. That, that's all that is, okay. What are you two doing in the corner? Sean and Ren. We're not playing. We're exercising. Okay. Uh. Ah! I think I found him. Probably should have actually stayed still. Building blocks. Oh, where am I? I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham! And now here I am. I might have fallen asleep while I was hiding. Guess that's game over for me. Aw, oh, you found me! Darn! <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Amori. So I haven't looked up yet. Oh no, these are everyone else I found. Did you even try? Oh, you're Mikal. Okay. Um. Okay, I actually can't see some other people. Uh, someone in here? Boing! It's me, Happy! You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know. I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X. Someone's gonna yell at me for my pronunciation of the letter Z. W, V, U, O, M, um, O. <laughs> Look, kid, I'll give you credit. It's harder than it looks. It's way harder than it looks. I can't goddamn do it. You weren't there before. Oh, hey, guys. <sighs> you know, I found a really good hiding spot, but I shown them Ren. <laughs> He invited me to join in them in their exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. You guys should really try this. It's really a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow. Really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero. We gotta help him while we find everyone else. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero. I'm starting to think Ren might have been the girl. Or at least the one with ponytails. Um, All I'm missing is the one that started it all. Oh, hi, Browse. Uh, okay, we haven't even won. Uh... Okay, you're still playing patty cake. Is the suspicious one still in the mailbox? Oh, I I probably see where one of them is. There's a straw in the ground. Pull it out. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, huh? Looks like you found pretty much everyone else, too. Unexpected. But I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Okay, I'm assuming that was... Ten! Hop! Fan! Here as always, buddy. Charlene! Uh, yeah. Nicole! I relate too hard to that one. Ah, oh, what gives? Happy! Here, you here! Browse! <laughs> Does Browse just scream? Is that his motive? Bangs! Yeah. Bun! Bun is here. Nose! Nose goes. Hero! Present. Oh, wow, he fucking sparkles. I love it. You really gotta do you really gotta do this every time, Burly. Hey, that was uncalled for Aubrey! Here I am! Huh? Where's Basil? 
That's strange. I thought I saw him hiding near the tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil! You can come out now! You already won! Hello, Basil! Hey, there's Basil. Basil, you okay? Uh, are you stuck? Well, this is, uh, mildly problematic. <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. You good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil's our friend. Would you dare hurt him? Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. I don't think boss can use words. Oh no, he can. You stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you how all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil! How could you? Let go of him, you bully! No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited! Oh, well... Well, we're fighting, I guess. Um... What do we got? We got attack, skills, snacks, and toys. Also, I love this background with the comic book pop panel pop-up things. Um... A sad poem. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. And I can guard. Do I have any toys? No. Do I have any s no, I don't have any snacks either. I, I guess I just slap him. Oh, well, oh, okay. What will Aubrey do? Make a friend or foe happy. And you can also guard. Um, use on who? Okay. I, 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 it hates that, you know what, I, okay, so we've got Aubrey, uh, Hero, and Kel, I'm assuming. I'll make Kel happy, sod it. Yeah, bottom right is Kel. Uh, yeah, Kel can slap him. Uh, Hero can cook. Heal a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle, cost 10, and he can guard. Yeah, I guess this works. Oh, damn. <laughs> you weaklings. You call that an attack? Yep, okay. Here, just... Boss cracks his knuckles. Oh, uh, well. Um... You know what? I'm gonna try and make Boss feel sad. I, I don't know why. Uh, okay, I can pep talk. Make him Mori feel better about himself. Um, Kel, keep slapping him. Actually, I probably should see what skills Kel has. Make a friend or foe angry. Hmm. I'm just going to keep slapping him with Kel. I probably will have to learn these happy, sad, and angry mechanics. Uh, you can just, you just heal, so nothing special about that. It was a dull attack. Boss keeps losing juice. I don't know what that means. Is that good? Um, I'm a, I'm a keep slapping him, I guess. Uh, you know what? What if I make him angry? 
That sounds like a horrific thing to do to a boss, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Dull attack and he keeps losing juice. Kelanoid boss. I did more damage to him. Hey, that kind of hurt. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. Boss cracked his knuckles. Um, I, I think if everyone attacks from here on out, we just win. Jesus Christ, it hit right in the heart. Please bear in mind, Amori is holding a knife right now. <laughs> I think I just, I think like it hit right in the heart is indicating I crit, but oh well. Urgh. Now you made me angry. You were angry beforehand. It's time for my special move. Body slam. Oh Jesus Christ. This is not good. Amori did not succumb. Oh, how are you still moving? Boss cracks his knuckles. D d d I assume I just finish him. It was a moving attack. <laughs> you know what? The confetti may be flying, but Omori doesn't look happy about this. Also, my other three friends are toast. Quite literally. 32 XP and 22 clams. This isn't fair! Rematch! I want a rematch! <laughs> did, did Cal just kick him in the crotch? Basil, are you hurt? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss? It must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Huh. I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil? Are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news! It's a good thing Amori held on during that final attack or else we were all, we all would have been toast. It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried real hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Huh. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Well... He probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. Sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Hmm. Surprisingly touching. And where I'm only and I'm not even an hour into this game. Sorry, I just needed to hear the sound effect more in my life. It's uh it's amazing. Uh oh, got a thing down here I can do as well. Anyone else got anything new to say? Oh, Maria, something new. Just the other day, Nose was telling me about a cute little leaf she met. But when she tried to be his friend, all it wanted to talk about was how much it hated bunnies. How could somebody hate bunnies? I just don't understand some people. Which one is Nose? Oh, Nose is the one on the slide. The one that looks like a literal nose. Joker Jash? Okay, peekaboo! Alright, so take it, that's all you do. Okay. Suspicious looking mailbox. Yes! 
I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, yes, hello, valid customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> we got candy. We got apple juice. We got jacks. Dam deals small amount of damage to all foes and reduces their speed. And we got a present. It's not what you wanted. <laughs> wow, okay. I don't like the suspicious looking mailbox character, but at the same time, I love the suspicious looking mailbox. I like how the candy is cheaper and yet it heals for more. Oh, okay. Uh, that must be in limited supply or something. I'll have you know I don't appreciate window shoppers. Aw, they've stopped exercising and they just lie on the ground now. Uh, what do you got to say? I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. When I can find a flower puzzle or something, maybe then he would notice me. A flower puzzle, you say, Daisy? It sounds like a side quest. Building blocks. Is this something I can find here, or is this something I have to find elsewhere? It might be elsewhere. I don't entirely know. You know, I keep I keep forgetting every time I occasionally walk over the eggs, they make the squishy noise. Oh, well, we've left the chaotic nature of the goddamn playground. It's nice and chill over here. What well, looks like a bus station. Are you a bus station? A transportation station. Doesn't seem to be in service. Wait a Mori, we're supposed to be going to my house. It's just the past the path to the south of the playground. Just finished planting some little sprouts I wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. I'm assuming it's down this way then. Is this them? These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face toward the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Well, they are indeed sunflowers. Having some strange Mother 3 flashbacks when I think about sunflowers, but hey-ho, we're here now. Are these tulips or something? These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It said that they were able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Marie. Guess I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Whoa! What is that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole! Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but they become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sproutmole, stop that. You're stamping all over the flowers. I think it wants to fight. Oh, yep, it, it wants to fight. Ah, looks like this Sproutmole here is angry. Like us, Sproutmoles al also feel emotions. Since this Sproutmole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it has lowered, lowered defense. So what you're saying is now's the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. So, just smack it, I guess. What is everyone attacking with? I know I have a knife. Everyone else just appeared to be, like, just piling on. Hey, we did a thing. 22 XP and three clams. Oh, sweet, Amora grew to level two. I was expecting like a stat increase breakdown, but that's probably done behind the scenes. Ah, <sighs> most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Mori. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a general where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the foe facts journal. Hell yeah, bestiary. There, it's now in your pocket. This journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the play menu by pressing zero. Let's see what we got. Uh, important. Lost Sprout Mole. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it's smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. Amori. I wonder how many of these there are. 
Is there one for boss? Was th was there one for boss? There was. Hell yeah. Oh, I love how it shows the background comic things as well. A little rough at the e around the edges. Can be a foe. Or a friend. Amori. Oh, they got overworld sprites as well in here. Oh, that's adorable as hell. How long is this list? Okay. Yeah, it's not massive. For now, he says. Okay, so we got... These look like hibiscuses. Why is it I'm wrong with every single one of these? I grow roses at home. Well, I don't. I don't. My family does. My family grows roses at home. They never seem to grow in a bush. They always seem to grow in, like, vines. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. That's why his name is Hero. Let's be honest. Um... I'm not even going to guess, but it kind of looks like honeysuckle. Ah. These are a type of flower called... Gl 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 gladiolus? Gladiol... I know this sucks, because I know I've been around the garden, and I know I've seen these before, and I don't know how they're pronounced. The uh, gladio what? Gladiolus. That's the way you pronounce it. Also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, these represent strength and character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The Gladius reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is Aubrey's really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Aw. You plan the one for everyone. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. Combat. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this means it also has a higher chance of missing. So, happy is crit rate up, but accuracy down? Okay. Also, I, I see Amori's HP and... I was gonna say teardrops. What are they called in here? It just says cost of five. It doesn't actually tell me what it is. I know they called it something before. Do they call it like soul or something? Something like that. Oh, it hit Kel right in the heart. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Battle music kind of jamming. 18 XP, 4 clams, and I found some tofu! Hell yeah. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart! Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? Sure. So, look and speed up, hit rate down. Angry is attack, and def attack up, defense down. Sad is defense up, speed down. Some damage to heart is converted to juice. That's what it was called. It was called juice. <laughs> Why is it called juice? I don't even. But anyway, yeah. Uh, sad will be good if I come across an enemy that likes to use special powers, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, swiftly move on and see what we got. Okay. These ones are cacti. If you tell me I'm wrong, I'm going to slap someone. Whoa. 
What are these flowers called? They're all so cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny you, you ask because it reminds me of you. Is it because he's a... <laughs> um, I'm glad I know where the humor lies in this game. Hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resili resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! And um, what do we got that reminds him of me? These look like tulips. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous, just like a Mori. I don't know, I just think it's cute. I knew there had to be tulips in here somewhere. Also, I feel like someone's gonna get mad at me for my pronunciation of tulips. Ah, uh, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in a fetal po <laughs> Jesus Christ! How do you fetal position when you don't have any legs? That means we won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less heart and we'll lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. I mean, I, I guess if that's what we're doing. Can I like change you so uh Okay, it's not happy that beats sad, it's angry, so uh yeah, I guess I guess I do I guess I do this. Kelly knows hero and hero feels angry. Look at those angry eyebrows on hero. It was a moving attack. Sprout mole is aw. It's not even trying to fight back. This is depressing. Um Amori seems to always go first, so I don't think there's much point in Oh well he bumped into Kel. Hero didn't even get a chance to swing in it. Boarding XP, two clams. Oh, we're good to level two. And so did Kel and Hero. And Hero learned massage. I wonder what that does. For some reason I expect us to go into like talking after com after that combat, but apparently not. Hi everyone! You came up just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything's all set up, and I even brought some fruit. How did you get ahead of us, Marie? You know what? I shouldn't ask questions, should I? <gasps> Sound effects never gonna get old. Oh, cool, we got cutscenes. Um. Woo! Thanks, Marie, you're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for you all. Ah, oh, Marie, I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yeah, I agree. Marie is so effortlo effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Amori? I mean, she does give that energy off, yeah. Ah, I guess I have to believe it a little if you all think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready with you all! We'll catch up with you later, Marie! Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Aw, oh, the cutscenes are adorable. 
Everything about this game feels so cozy, which is why the warning at the start of the game makes me feel like something horrific's about to happen. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this off here, because, uh, it's been an hour and this is roughly how long I like to record for. So, this is roughly how long my episodes tend to be. Anyway, thank you all for watching the first part of Amori. If you like the video in any capacity, please feel free to give the video a like down below. Uh, considering this is the first part of a series, kinda means a lot if it does well. It just implies to me that y'all wanna keep watching, which is interest which is a good sign because I'm I'm gonna be real whether y'all want to watch me play this or not I'm gonna play this game anyway so if you want to watch me play it that's just oh that's just like benefiting us all isn't it so yeah feel free to let me know in the comments down below and if you want to keep up to date with whenever I post any other videos be they of Higurashi arguably still dark but just slightly different in tone Higurashi sometimes borders on silly but I still feel bad for most of the characters um, I was gonna say something else. Technically, there's the stream VODs, which will be airing soonish again. My god, if the, if I commit to the dumb idea I have this coming Sunday, God help us all. That's gonna be a long stream. But yeah, if you want to keep up to date with whenever I post anything, feel free to subscribe to the channel. In theory, if you do that, YouTube sends you alerts to when I post videos, but I don't think it does, so... I think I have to press the bell icon as well. Really, all pressing the subscribe button does is you make me feel good about myself. So, thanks for that in advance. Um, other than that, I have a Twitter you can follow me at. I don't usually plug it, but link's in the description. Same with uh, where I stream. Link to that in the description as well. Anyway, it's all by the by. Thank y'all for watching. I've been Nyx, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters.